try to demonstrate uh, how to clean a pickerel, uh, bone, uh, make it boneless, um, which is a little bit different than the other method we just showed. Um, this is about a 25 inch Oneida Lake chain pickerel. And uh, we're going to show you how to clean it and take the bones out and um, make it so there's, there's, there's five pieces of meat on each fillet when you get done that are boneless. So uh, we'll start by gutting and filleting the fish. I like to take a, just use it, I don't usually eat the belly meat. Um, I like to run the knife right down along the edge of the, where the color and the belly meets. Make an incision on the other side, and if you do it right, you can go right down the side of the fish along the edge of the belly, and then take the head off, and with a little bit of fancy knife work, just about all of it comes off in one, you don't even ever have to let go of it. And so you have this fish with the guts out and the head off. You want to take the side of the fish off. On your sharp fillet knife down along the spine. And with pickerel, a lot of times with the, if you don't scale them, the scales tend to load up on the tip of the knife. So you have to kind of work your way through the, the hide of the pickerel. They're a little bit tough. This fish is a little bit small for what I want to do with it. I would like a bigger pickerel, a little bit bigger, but it should work. The bigger they are, the um, easier it is to see the Y bones, and it's easier to get them out. So there's one half the fish. I like to rotate the knife and go with the scales, because if you go against the scales, they load up really heavily on the knife and they make it hard to cut. This works on that. That method works on any kind of uh, big pike or big pickerel, even you know big northern pike. We want to cut through the Y bones and go around the ribs. Cut through the floating bones and go around the ribs. This fish is a little thin too, so he's not the perfect, not the best. Paper towel and wipe up our mess as we go. So now you have two skin-on fillets. So we need to take the skin off. And you just use a little zigzag motion and just pull the hide right off of this rascal. Same thing on the other side, get it started, grab a hold of it, kind of zigzag it right off the fish. And wash the fillets really quick. I found that the bones come out best when you first clean them. I, I kept typically don't have time or whatever and you end up putting them in the fridge for a day or maybe you're going to use them the next day so you end up putting them in the fridge. Sometimes that helps to get them nice and firm but for some reason the bones tend to stick out a lot better when the fillets are fresh. I'm going to wipe the board off again. Get the slime off. And I'll take the fillet and lay it so the skin side would be out if it had skin, and you can actually feel the bones with your finger. If you run right along, you can see them. Each one is, maybe you can hear them. So there's a big strip of boneless meat along the back, so you want to work that off the, off the Y bones first. So you just want to start with a sharp knife, and you want to work along, use your finger to feel. And these Y bones, are, are, are Y like this at the, at the surface on the inside of the fillet and then they kind of angle towards the top of the fillet. So you want to work down till you feel them with your knife. I'm not cutting through them, I can just, just to demonstrate how you can feel them. And then you want to lay the knife as you get to the point where you're down about the whole length of the strip. It's just one line along this top edge of the fillet. You want to tip the knife kind of flat towards you and kind of put pressure down on it and the, the bones don't go all the way to the top of the fillet so you can kind of sh stop short and cut straight down to the board 
and you'll leave the bones. And here's the bones right here. It's a little tricky at the end because they kind of get smaller and kind of angle up. And like I said, this fish is a little small for what we're doing. Bigger fish are a little bit easier. But if you work that down, you got to keep track of the bones. Make sure you didn't leave a straggler. If you work that down, you can see they end. You can almost kind of cut straight down at a certain point. And you can feel down. If you feel down, you can feel that they go down about to there. So you want to just take that and just kind of work it off as you go. Make sure you're feeling as you go to make sure there's no bones. And you can pull that piece right off and it's... If you've done it right, it's totally boneless, um, and it's a good, a really nice piece of fillet. So we have that's the first piece. It's kind of like the back strap, if you will. And if you take this, this center, or this string of Y bones out, then you make a, a, a very large piece. So you want to go in behind the Y, kind of feel your way. And you'll know if you didn't get past it, you'll it'll, it'll kind of you'll be feeling the other bone. And just lay your knife in at an angle. And you can kind of see it get underneath there. You can see it, kind of, they're, they're, they stick together pretty good. And you can see them come off. And once, you figure, once you've done it a few times, it comes out pretty easily. And again, you want to use your finger. Your finger can help you, help you feel your way. You feel where that kind of ends. And it's okay to waste a little bit. Uh, and you just kind of end it there. And then you end up with the string of Y bones. You can see the Y bones sticking out of there. The string of Y bones... You can give that to the cat, or I even know people that um, grind it up and make fish patties out of it. But um, there's enough pickerel in the night of lake, I'm not going to be eating the bones. So there's only one set of bones, another set of bones, and that's right here. There's some floating bones about midway down, to, down towards the tail. And if you take your finger and you run your fingers down, you can kind of feel where they start, right about midway on the fillet. And there's no bones in this part. To figure out where they, I kind of give myself a half an inch or so, and if you run the knife straight down, you'll feel whether or not you're you're not going to cut any bones. Nice and easy, there's no bones. This piece is a completely bone-free, nice piece of, of, of pickerel fillet. So what I do, this is the trickiest part, is now there's a, a small set of bones that run kind of in a, in, a, in a half arc towards the belly. This is the belly of the fish. You can feel them with your finger, and they angle towards the belly of the fish so once you get and get close to them you kind of just tilt your knife out kind of feel your way down through and this this fish is kind of small so it's a little tougher to find but this time this kind of a when you get to the end of this part if you waste a little bit I'm I don't get too worried about it and that's another totally boneless piece and on this smaller fish I'm gonna waste a little bit and you can just go in there and make a cut on both sides of what where those bones are, and you can feel them where they go to. Make a cut and uh, and go in there, and then you have this piece of this has the floating bones in it right there, and that's waste. And I, I like to say there's five pieces because I usually take this piece and cut it in half. And there you have how to make a pickerel fillet totally boneless. Use your fingers and go slow, and after a once or twice, you'll be a pro.